feel like John Ambrose did not get the ending that he yeah. deserved. How did you feel about that ending? You know, I think that a lot of people would agree. Um, he found himself in the situation like unwillingly. He, he, th there's history there, right? I'm like, yeah. he, John Ambrose is Lara Jean's first love. It was the first letter that she ever wrote. It was her first like really big crush that she didn't know what to do with. They didn't see each other. I mean, like going to another school at that age is pretty much like moving across the world. Like right. you, there's no other, you're disconnected. Yeah. And so for them to find themselves back in the same place coincidentally, especially where timing is concerned, because it's all about timing. That's what really, that's what this film's all about. Like it's, 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 it's a lesson and like timing is not always in our control and that's okay. Jordan is personally more Team Peter for Laura Jean and like high really? school college. Really? Yeah, I think like for high school college. However, like, as somebody who's not 17, yeah. who's like a little bit older than that uh, and about to get married, like yeah. John Ambrose is the marrying type. Like yeah. he's the guy that you're like, all right, yeah. thanks. John Ambrose is daddy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that he's secure in that, you know what I'm saying? Like he he didn't, he's not a home wrecker. He didn't know about like the relay, he didn't know what was going on, found himself in this weird position and then kind of like, had his wildest dreams come true at the end of the film, and and that's where I think that that's where everyone's hearts break. It's just like, oh, he didn't deserve that. Well, do you think there should have been a little more than just the the kiss and the run, uh, or was that the right way to? Yeah, go? I think that, that honestly, it's like he got it. He, okay. They kissed. Yeah. He looked at like he is socially aware and emotionally intelligent enough to yeah. go, I know what it is, yeah. and it's okay. So you weren't personally bummed. I mean, I'd, I'd be lying if I said, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be yeah. lying because yeah. I love John Ambrose. He's such yeah. a sweetheart. No. He's like the he's the perfect guy, you yeah. know, and like did no wrong and had pure intentions the whole time. So how can anybody dislike him? I mean, I feel like everybody wants to root for him for that reason, you know? I mean, hey, I had my thumb finger you are, hey, going John. high. So you team, are team John. I really thought you did such a great job. Thank yes, you, so you really were so charming. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate that. Do we think there's room for him in the third movie? Possibly. I mean, we'll have to see. I. Did you film for it? Did, have you read any the scripts? Film, the film has happened. Can, so are you in it? I cannot confirm nor deny, but is there, it has happened. Is there? So we'll have to see. Is there room for him in your opinion? Like, would you like to see him in the third movie? I think that the filming for the third film has already taken place. <laughs> And I, Jordan Fisher, cannot confirm nor deny John Ambrose's involvement in the third film. Okay, that's fair. That's a very diplomatic answer. How's wedding planning going? It's going <laughs> Thank you. It's going very well. She's around here somewhere. She's like the stunning blonde with the red dress yeah. on. So whenever you see that, um, it's going really well. I mean, like, you know, we're, we're getting married in Hawaii. It's in July. It's a whole bunch of stuff happening between now and then where, like, my brain is kind of all over the place. So she and, like... My PR team, they've been doing such a beautiful job at kind of constructing things. They'll bring me something like once every two weeks and be like, hey, like, yes, no. And I'll be like, sure, here we go. Yeah. You know, but they're doing a beautiful job of like kind of putting the thing together. And I'm just thrilled that it's in my happy place. That's really it. <laughs> Are you going to sing at the wedding? We'll see. Full of so many answers tonight. I mean, you know, there's some things you gotta like keep it to keep on the wrap, baby. You gotta like, you know, kind of hold on to your cards a little bit now, baby. Come on now. You gotta play the piano. Or the guitar, you do both, and you I sing. Do. I do, I do all of those things. It wouldn't really be a, a Jordan Fisher wedding without you, know, so? a little, without you a li singing. Like a little samba, Lindsay comes out, we do a little yeah, samba, yeah. and then I, <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll see. It's gonna be like a big fat family vacation, okay. so we're, that's the thing we're mostly excited about. You know, we, we grew up in Alabama together, like that's yeah. it, we met, we were nine and 13 years old, so we have like, and I've been in LA for 13 years, so we, she has so much connection in Alabama still, where I have some extended family. LA is very much home for me, and I kind of have home in New York as well. So like, it just made sense for us to do a destination, do a dinner in Alabama, do a dinner in LA, do a dinner in New York, but like actually have the ceremony and the celebration itself somewhere far away, you know. Are the, uh, the co-stars invited? There's some. Are we gonna see Noah and Lana we'll dance see. on the dance floor at we'll the wedding? Keep, we're keeping things very, very private. Do you know what I'm saying? I appreciate You're that. You're gonna see, like it's gonna be a whole big thing afterwards, yeah. but like, we're, we're private people okay. and like to keep you know certain things to ourselves okay. and for us because like so much of my life is outward yeah there are so many things in my life that I like to like you know keep That's sacred fair. you know Valentine's Day yeah. what are we doing well I'm working on Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway right now so I'm literally big deal by the literally way literally playing Evan that night just sobbing and crying and singing my my ass up on stage bleep my bad uh, 
But uh, I mean, that's that's gonna be Valentine's Day itself. I, it'll honestly probably just like, we'll probably get up in the morning. She'll she'll have work that day. We'll probably like have a little breakfast and then she'll go do her work. I'll stream on Twitch. I'll go do the show. We'll probably like cap the night with an episode of Cheer and a glass of wine. Everyone loves Cheer. I'm like obsessed. You gotta right watch ET's interview. We did a sit down with them. Gabby Butler came to see Dear Evan Hansen the day after I started watching the show and one of our PR people came back yeah. after the show and I'm all like puffy and gross and like getting dressed and stuff to go out to the stage door and she's like hey Gabby Butler from Cheer I said you're like send her back what she's like she is in the green room like what we call it the blue room she's like she's in the blue room like wants to meet you I was like okay like she's a beast she's an animal she's so great and so sweet